Worldwide Telescope allows you to explore real images obtained with some of the world's most advanced telescopes. These are the same images that professional astronomers use in their research. Worldwide Telescope can be used to freely explore the universe or to create or view guided tours. Guided tours present particular topics by using Worldwide Telescope to show specific views of the sky and astronomical objects. When guided tours are playing, Worldwide Telescope displays full screen and hides all menus. You can toggle between full screen and windowed modes with the F11 key. In order to stop a guided tour so you can go into explore mode, press the escape key. You have to move the mouse to the top or bottom of the screen to expose the menus. When you are in explore mode, you can investigate the current view in more detail. You can zoom in and out using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard or the scroll wheel on your mouse. You can move your view by clicking and moving your mouse in the main window. You can also rotate the view by holding down the control key while you move your mouse. In the left-hand part of the lower menu, there is a pull-down to select what you are looking at and what imagery is displayed. You can look at the sky, which is what you are looking at now. You can also select the exact image of the sky with the imagery pull-down. Currently, you are looking at the optical view of the sky as captured by the digitized sky survey. You can use the imagery pull-down to see the sky in other wavelengths, such as this infrared view of the sky from the IRAS satellite. Or this view of the sky as seen in hydrogen alpha emissions. You can also look at Earth, which brings up a 3D view of our planet as seen from space. and other solar system worlds, such as the planet Mars. In another viewing mode, you can look at various panoramas, which are wraparound images taken from the surface of Earth, Mars, and Earth's moon, or load your own. The solar system mode enables you to explore the surfaces of planets similar to the Earth and planet modes, in solar system mode, surface views show atmospheric effects and you can fly from planet to planet. You can even pull back out of the solar system and fly outside the Milky Way through the universe of galaxies. Finally, the sandbox mode allows you to load any 3D data and models into their own universe. This can be used to visualize the outputs of numerical simulations or 3D structures by themselves. Let's go back to looking at the sky. When you move your mouse to the lower part of the window, a menu comes up. The bottom of that menu shows a row of labeled thumbnail images. The images listed are the objects that are within the current field of view. If you move your mouse over one of the thumbnails at the bottom of the window, a circle indicating the location of the object in the sky and its name are shown in the main window. Clicking on any of the thumbnails on the bottom centers the current view on, on the location of the object and zooms in to show a more detailed image if one is available. If a detailed image is shown, you can slide the image crossfade controller to see how it is overlaid on top of the background sky image. This is particularly useful when comparing an image in one wavelength to a sky background in another. Now that you've learned the basics of Worldwide Telescope, explore on your own.